Shipping is a challenging industry and the sea can be tough. Fortunately, we sailors stick together. Jag har testat den här appen som alla andra har tagit fram och tänkte kommentera lite grann. Jag tycker att appen verkar väldigt bra och jag tror att vi kommer att ha användning för den i vår verksamhet. Accidents, injuries and near misses happen. Knowledge of them needs to be mobilized so that we can learn from these situations. First impression of the app is very positive. The app has many useful functions and I believe that the most useful for us would be the safety observation module. Download Alandia's new loss prevention application. It provides real-time reporting of accidents and near-miss situations. The information gathered will help prevent damage in advance. The app is really easy to use and it helps your crew to stay up to date in safety matters by using gamification, storytelling and other mind supporting strategies. The app enhances uh, two-way communications in situations where insurance will be involved and the app uh, enables easier and more accessibility to contact Alandia. Manage your company's risks with loss prevention app. Please contact with Alandia to get access to your loss prevention app. Hi and welcome to today's webinar about the new solution for professional mariners that is going to keep up the safety on board. My name is Johanna. I am working as a loss prevention executive at Alandia. I am going to start this webinar by telling the story about why this tool was invented and why it was needed in the maritime industry. After I finished my master's in psychology, I started working here one and a half year ago together with the loss prevention manager that I am soon going to introduce you to. Before he started working at Alandia, he had worked many years as a captain on shore and onshore organization. Uh, during that time, he had really seen and experienced what was missing in the industry for optimal safety. There is a lot of safety work in the maritime industry and in shipping organizations. Safety is prioritized in many ways, but the problem is often that the work has been done in silos. So even if a few people in a company are aware about what, where and how the risks look like, it is not the same for the persons that might be part of the action to mitigate the risks. As we all know, there has been a lot of talk these days about digitalization and how that could help us solve some of these problems. Well, we wanted to not just talk about it. We wanted to give a practical tool that could really help close the gap between what seafarers experience as safe work and what really is a safe way to operate. The tool enables more proactive safety culture by involving everyone to report and share safety critical knowledge and observation. It is important to use tools that have a human centric approach. We tend to forget sometimes that there are humans with human brains working on the vessels and in the offices. The tool that is going to be presented for you today is based on scientific methods that work well with learning, memory, and make it easy to communicate about safety. Okay, now let me present to you Alandia Senior Loss Prevention Manager, Marty Simoyoki, that is going to present the loss prevention app to you together with today's panel. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening, uh, depending on where you are. Uh, really happy to be here today and uh, really happy to be able to launch. Uh, this is the first official launch to our own lead customers. Uh, the loss prevention app, which we have developed uh, uh, partly together with our uh, supplier Gambit, but uh, more importantly, uh, together with, with our three customers who are making the panel today. And uh, with this note, uh, I, I would like to uh, introduce our pan esteemed panel today. And 
and uh, would you, Sophia, like to go first and uh, tell a little bit about yourself, uh, your background, and uh, how did you get involved in the app and, and your first impression? Yes, hello, uh, I'm Sophia Wikberg, and uh, I'm currently working at Destination Gotland as safety coordinator. Um, before I was working as chief officer on board our vessels, uh, and uh, we got into contact with you uh, just before Christmas, I think, uh, when we could try out the, this app. And uh, I, I thought it was really something good and useful and easy to, to use. So I'm looking forward to... to uh, everyone else using it as well. Thank you, Sophia. And uh, you, as we saw in the film, you also uh, uh, had one of your captains to, to, to give his testimony, which was really, really great to hear that it also works, works on the field. Yes. Uh, I don't know how the view is, uh, how, how you see the view. Uh, the next uh, panelist below, Sophia, is uh, Daniel. Uh, would you like to present yourself and, and, and the same question? Mm -hmm. how, what is your first impression? Absolutely. So my name is Daniel Pensvelt and I'm also working at the Destination Gotland as a traffic and safety manager and also the DPA for the company. And uh, how I got hold of it, this is uh, me and Marty worked together on Alenius on uh, car carriers a while ago. And they approached me with a new way of thinking. What do you think about an app, an easy accessibility app? Would that be something that you useful? And first impression was uh, really good. And uh, this with the gamification, I think is something that we can uh, yeah, take everyone's opinion about it. But if younger generation could love this uh, gamification and a little bit of this competing and have the everyday talk about safety, I think is one way of using this app actually. So this, this gamification could be a little bit about talk of the tongue, so to speak. Thank you very much. Uh, we will get to the personal points at the end of the webinar. So just hold on, Daniel, for one more, one more minute, right? And in, in my view, I, I see Thomas, uh, the same same question, if you present yourself and, and your first impression, how did you uh, heard about the app? Yep. Hello to everybody. Thomas Fries, Development Manager at the Meriora Group. Uh, previously safety and quality manager and, and DPA at Vega Shipping. And and the first impression, yeah, I, I remember when you when you gave me a call and asked that asked to, to, to have a conversation about this this app and uh, I do have to say I, w I was keen from the start. I have always been quite keen on on using my mobile phone and different devices and apps. So and uh, well, my my first reaction was that okay, we we will with this we will lower down the the how should I say the the border for for reporting near misses and and safety observ observations. So with this having it handy all the time available, I I, I think this will be a, a great tool for us. Thanks. Thank you, Thomas and. Uh... Uh, last but not the least, uh, Sten, uh, please go ahead. Yes, hello everybody. I My name is Sten Rosenqvist and I'm safety manager at Rederi AB here in Mariehamn. And I'm also DPA and CSO. And uh, I'm working with the safety, ISM and nautical issues here at our company. Uh, and it's pretty much the same. Uh, we had a brief contact Round about before Christmas, I guess, uh, Marty and me, and you told me that you were developing an app. And uh, actually, it's the first thought that struck me was that finally we are <laughs> moving into <laughs> modern modern times, even with, with these safety tools. Uh, and I think this is a really really good feature because. Uh, to have apps handy 
in a mobile phone is something that more or less everybody is using on a daily basis. So I think this is a, a good initiative to bring these kind of tools very close to all personnel, both ashore and on board ships to, to be able to, to use and, and let's say think about safety more or less on a, on a daily basis as a natural, natural way just to use your, your mobile phone. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Stan. And uh, I think uh, we, we start this uh, virtual uh, unboxing uh, by, uh, uh, we thought that we, we start with the safety observation. And uh, uh, like like said that uh, some of you mentioned that we, we we made the first contact, initial contact and, and presented the idea. That's, that's very true, but uh, I, I must, must also give you a credit that uh, without your help and, and, and dedication and time and, and ideas, we, we would not be here where we are today. And, and, and there's lots of detailed and more conceptual inputs that you all have and the organizations have provided, which are very, very thankful. Uh, safety observation. Uh, well, one of the ideas here is that uh, Every time you analyze an accident or incident, that uh, well, I think all, all of you know that, but uh, there's always someone who has seen or heard. But the problem is that it's it's not carried forward. Uh, it might not come to the the right person, or it might not come to the show organization, and then then things happen out of out of control. And um, uh, one one of the problems we, we try to solve with the app is to, to, to lower the threshold, like, like you mentioned, Thomas, that uh, make, make it easy. Everyone, we don't need to create a new infrastructure or make a very expensive uh, investments. Everybody carries their phone. So how, how can we use that and, and how, how can we get the right information to the right, right persons, uh, more or less instantly? Uh, would you like to share, uh, whoever wants to go first, uh, your practical experience with the safety observation and, and maybe the potential that you see and, and how, how are you going to uh, apply it in, in your organization? Well, I can, I can start just uh, a personal view on this uh, safety reporting and uh, observation of, of near misses and, and incidents, etc. Et if you are looking uh, in a broader view, on a global uh, view, on, on view of safety and reporting, I think we here in Scandinavia have, have a, let's say, tradition to solve things very informally and with uh, very short communication ways and, and not report small, let's say, uh, incidents or, or, or things in a formal way. So I think this is a good, uh, a good complement, and uh, especially for the young generation who are using the mobile phones daily, this could be a, a good, let's say, motivation and uh, how should I say, uh, something that inspire and, and uh, motivates personnel to to report interesting observations quite in an easy, easy way. Yeah, yeah Daniel can continue from, yeah, yeah this is with the, I would say the proactive work, if we as a manage, shore management see in certain areas, it, if something is increasing in certain areas, we know where to focus the safety work on, so to speak. If you see some of the, maybe on deck you have an increased number there, and you need to know you have to focus on that certain area. So I think it is a proactive work. You could really sum up where do we need to put the resources. So I think this could be easy and useful for pinpointing out stuff like that. Yeah, do, do you think that uh, you will uh, change some of your procedures or, or your routines uh, when you have this tool? At the moment, we, we're just in a startup phase. So I would say we, we, uh, when we come to a longer term, when we stop, start, people start using it, maybe then we can uh, change the routines, etc. Now it's just, uh, I would say, to build up the confidence and have 
people be using it later on. So that is, I think, it's the stage we are at at the moment. Uh, do you, uh, Sophia or, or Thomas, have a perspective on, on the safety observation and, and what has been discussed so far? Yeah, I could uh, a little bit comment there on on, on Stan's uh, point of view that that we have quite a bit of well, we fix it ourselves and and uh, mentality here in, in in Scandinavia, and so it, it's a bit of this iceberg syndrome that that we we only find out. Uh, about the small percentage of the of the cases that actually happen and 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 of course the earlier we can prevent something i mean but we need the information and and with this tool i mean it's it's so easy i mean you push the button four times uh we get the base we we get the the statistics also that that daniel was talking about that we we start uh seeing where we need to to focus and and not only the the actual accidents that that happened that uh, then formally reported that is the what you say the, the big benefit with this uh, with this system that it's really easy to use thank you thomas uh, do you have a sophia perspective on this um, i agree with the with everyone uh, just the like the easy use for it i think will be like really good because like now if they make a safety observation or non conformity it can can be like a step uh, too high so they rather not uh, report it uh, but with this because it's e so easy uh, as you said it's only like for click of a button and then it's done. So I think that will be a really good way to to start to to use it more and the, yeah, with the safety culture. Good, and uh, you, you mentioned, Daniel, that uh, I, I suppose uh, all of us here, are in, in we are in sort of in a startup phase. Uh, we saw one captain and and what is your perspective how how i know also in in your organization thomas and stan you have also tried it with with the crew and and what what has been the feedback so far daniel started the, the feedback is just like we said we we, we started just with the, our captains so far so with just having a tryout with them and then later on we want to have like a bigger launch of this so not we go bro broader later on so, but uh, like you saw, I heard in the, just in the intro here, it's one of our captains. He find it very easy, and I, he absolutely think it will be with this time. Say, you, if you want to write a non-conformity or safety observation, whatever you call it, different that takes time. If it's this easy, just click of a button, then they think that it's they will people will have the time. Say they go from a morning deck and they go have to go to sleep, and they saw something there, they can just do three four clicks. And then report it rather than just going to sit first go to the computer start it up go into a program etc so i think that uh, it is easy just because everyone carries their cell phone in their pockets more or less all the time okay thank you yeah also from from our side at, at vega shipping we had a a small group of uh well our fleet is not that big and but we had we had a group of captains that that were testing the, the app and and the feedback was positive uh, same same comments easy to use it's it's available we we have uh, the cell phone with us and and the the younger generation they they even have it more than than us old guys so yeah it's 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 there we we have it available all the time and then yeah look, looking forward to we haven't launched the either in the fleet but uh, the plan is that we will have a, a bigger launch for for the whole fleet and to take it in 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 use and and then promote the use in within the ships okay thank you uh, if i understood correctly stan that you you had a little bit different approach uh, since you you operate uh, different types of vessels in in your fleet uh, yes but 
more or less the same. We had a number of captains who, who installed it and uh, well, pretty much all positive comments about that. And uh, I think also uh, when when it's released and uh, uh, all all crew and all, all personnel or all public can uh, have access to it, I think it will be, be even even better as you get more statistics and more, uh, let's say, material reported into into this system and, and the app. So it's uh, as more contents are added, I think it will be even more more useful and interesting. Okay, thank you. Uh, you have Sophia something to add, or shall we go go ahead? Okay. Okay, we we move forward. Uh, uh, like I said, the observation, uh, someone has always seen something or heard something, and then and it's important that it's 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 uh, reported. And then then we come come to the safety challenge. Uh, uh, this is more like an uh, uh, educational uh, storytelling, and uh, uh, we come also to the gamification part here. That we we try to use the, the different senses that we have, and and uh, uh, once once you use the different senses, then then they, they stick tend to stick more 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 in in in, in your in, in your brain, and and it makes it more motivating, and and it, it becomes part of the the, the normal uh, everyday life on board, and and, and the safety work, and it, it's a bit of a fun that you can. Uh, Run the campaigns, and uh, I suppose we we have to compare our points at the end of the webinar, right? But uh, uh, what what's your experience uh, perspective so far on, on on the safety challenge part? That it's, it's kind of ed educational, and and you answer right and wrong. Yeah, I think that at least uh, if you talk uh, from a uh, perspective of younger than just uh, this gamification is something that triggers. And if you start getting that trigger, uh, then you will have this talk about safety. Regardless if you're not really talking about safety, but the, in the long term, it is actually about safety. So it's just this small talk about uh, using this gamification and then get it in the mindset about talking about safety. So I think that is the key issue with this actually is part of that. Yeah. Yes, and I think it's a it's a good feature for, as Daniel mentioned, also for the younger generation used to to play games on the mobiles. But it it has also let's say a, a more serious uh, purpose. And uh, in our industry, there are always certain trends or or. Uh, so how should I say, focus areas going on. You could say it has been slip strips and falls, entry into enclosed spaces. And at the moment now we have cybersecurity, et cetera. So it's, a, it's also a good way to convey new areas and, and what is in focus at the moment in shipping industry. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we, we also try to try to combine the storytelling and, and the storytelling is, is also something that is very much in the focus right now that it's it's, it's a easy simple way to convey uh, important messages that uh, it i suppose no one has time or or the patience to read long texts and 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 then then see that through storytelling you you get the point uh, delivered to you in in an easy in an uh, informal fun way yeah, to, to comment on that, Barty, I was just going to say that these uh, safety challenges, the, the length of them is just about okay, because uh, if it was short, then you wouldn't get that much uh, content. But then again, it uh, tends that if it takes too long, we get bored and we don't go on with it. So, but my, my opinion on these ones is that they're just about the perfect length. It's really good. Okay, thank you, and and please give us feedback. I mean, if if it's get, it's it's not 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 about being a novel, 
and 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 not either a checklist. So so it's 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 a bit of a delicate balance how to how to, how to balance on that. And uh, uh, Sophia, are you fond of storytelling and uh, uh, gamification? Uh, uh, how 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 what is your experience and and how how do you see this? Yeah, as uh, the previous also said, it's uh, it's really like you you learn even you're not like like focused. Oh no, uh, like if you're going to a class or something, but this you're learning by by doing and reading, and uh, if you get the wrong answer, you you get the explanation, <laughs> uh, and then. As uh, Thomas said, it's uh, yes the length. It's also it's very important, so it's not too long, so you get bored. Uh, so and yeah, and it's uh, it's fun with the the points. Uh, I, I won over Daniel, so <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, good. And uh, uh, I would actually like to put uh, ourselves, uh, Alandi, a little bit in, out of the comfort zone. And uh, 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 several of you have mentioned that the younger generation, and, and of course, then I think that okay, there's uh, the older generation, and how do we uh, attract them, and and also the storytelling that that they maybe someone could perceive this as uh, as uh, good night nice stories for small kids. And, and and I suppose that's also a delicate balance that it's 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 relevant, uh, it's it's fun and, and do you have a uh, perspective or idea how how do we attract a uh, older generation? Yeah, well, well, Martia, myself, getting old, you have to get these reading glasses. So yeah, the text was small, but yeah, with the right glasses, it's it's manageable. Yeah, uh, or you could get a magnifier. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, hopefully the older generation already <laughs> knows a little bit more about these issues but I think just to, to, to keep it simple and, and short and, and interesting that will attract uh, and, and make it interesting both for young and older users yeah and uh, do you have a Sof Sophia do you have a silver bullet to to, to how to how to solve this? No, oh, I'm not sure, but I think it also like if uh, the more people who are using it, then even like the older generation, they they will follow as well. Uh, if they see it's not so difficult and like that, uh, because it, it can be that they're not so used to like with the phones and uh, stuff. But if they the more that using it around them, they then they can like. Yeah, just talking about it, and um, but this is it's very easy, and it's just a few clicks, and uh, uh, so I think, yeah, that is the best way to, uh, at least if, if I see for for our ships, uh, I think that would be the the best solution, just to to take as many of uh, of the crew that's willing to try it out and they just start to talk about it and how easy to use it is so okay so no, no need to talk about steamships at least i, I gather <laughs> thank you very good uh then uh, uh i just uh, got a message from daniel he has to attend something very urgent and and he will be back when he's done and and i think we 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 can move ahead and 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 talk about a little bit uh, when we have also a feature dealing with uh, emergencies and uh, in we, we have a like a this is a very very generic uh, uh, digitized checklist that that you do certain important things uh, 
VDR recording. Uh, basically, how, how to deal with the evidence and and and, and the thought here is a, a win-win again that uh, it's 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 good for us to to know what went wrong and and we can prevent it and and and, and especially for you you owners that that you know what happened why it happened and and that you you also have the, the same same picture in order to 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 mitigate the exactly the same thing happening again in in the future uh, uh round round table again and uh have you tested this uh, i i know at least uh, thomas your organization you 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 had some more uh, thoughts and ideas on this and 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 it would be interesting to to hear how, how you see this feature yeah uh we we had some feedback on this also and uh, yeah checklists i mean th this is a checklist is always important to to be able to remember wh what things you need to do and and also in order of course we have the company checklist also but this as a so to say check up on on uh, not all checklists are are ever to 100 percent idiot proof so this gives a, a little bit of extra to to the company checklist that we have and and then also this uh, the start off that you can see on the screen the, that you have the phone number there uh, I still do have it on on speed dial since since my day as as DPA and and uh, I know it works. I used to used to test it once in a while, office hours though, not Sunday evenings. But I was actually thinking if it would be possible to from from the page that you can see there on the on the far left that you could actually start the call from right here, because when you're in a situation and and uh, you actually look for the number okay you see it here and then you go back to the call function on the phone then then you have forgotten the number and then you have to okay now you have to go back again and then you write it down so i was just as i was actually trying to to look at this a bit more critical i was oh maybe it could be possible to have a if, if it's even possible to call straight from the app it is actually if you press the phone number then, then ah. it should Yes, I did it. Works. Test that. <laughs> yeah, it still works. Thank you. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to call them now. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, thank, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. It's, uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Good. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, there has been uh, some consideration that uh, maybe not everyone should try it out. Uh, it's 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 actually a emergency number. I mean, exactly, I do and, know. And and I, I think it's uh, again it's it's a delicate balance of need to know basis and and on the other hand it you shouldn't be afraid of using it when you need it and 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 I think maybe that's part of the implementation that uh, in your organization that maybe you instruct your captains and chief officers and and who you want to and and they know that this is how it works and. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will have a very angry uh, uh, claims manager uh, if, if we have about 9,000 insured vessels and everybody's pressing the number all the time, so, so we don't want to really be there. But, no. Uh, no. That's understandable. Yeah, good. Uh, uh, Stan or Sophia, do you, do you have an uh, in input on, on, on the checklist part? Uh, I can just concur with, with Thomas, the, the emergency number at the front page of this, this, uh, this page is, is really, really good. Uh, that is one of the, let's say, backbone issues that you always should keep in, in mind. But then again, for, for the checklist, all, all ships have, have uh, all ships and companies has their own uh, tailor-made checklists. So uh, I think these checklists here are a good complement if something happens. And we all know that if, if something happens, uh, most likely the insurance companies will be involved. So it's, this is a good, good complement to, to make sure that we have uh, secured documentation and evidence, etc. So I think that these, these checklists, they, they complement the companies and ships checklists uh, in, in a good way. 
Thank you, Sten. And uh, Sofia, do you have a perspective on, on this? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree again uh, that it's it's a good compliment, uh, and that you yeah you always carry it around in, or most of the time at least uh, in your pocket. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah quick to to take up and just yeah um, to make sure that you using the the checklist that's uh, on board already and. Uh, but if, yeah, it, this is, yeah, like a good uh, compliment. Uh, so. Yeah, and, 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 and to put a little bit in, in, in a perspective that uh, as, as an insurance company, we are never a part of the, the, the company ISM or we don't want to be part of it. And, 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 and it, it, it's a very general uh, general approach and, and 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 some companies they might not have that well developed checklist so maybe this could be an inspiration as well that this could be one way of doing it if it fits your vessels and and and, and, and your type of uh, operations yeah absolutely great uh, and then uh, I suppose uh, the, the the most difficult part is the uh, the, the API uh, application protocol interface, and uh, uh, just don't don't make a mistake uh, believing that I'm I'm becoming an uh, IT uh, guru. But uh, the the important feature is that uh, okay we can uh, send data, we can send reports, but where where does it go? And, and how do you access it? And uh, who can see it? Uh, who can share it? And, 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 and where, where is it stored? And, 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 and all these kind of questions. And uh, for us, it's very important that it's, it's, it's a transparent system and, and it's your operational data. So you should have access to it. And, and you, you can choose the best way you want to use it. And, and, and of course, we, we are there with you and, and can give some ideas and, 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 and tips what possibilities there are. But it's actually built, built in a way that it, it can basically, and, and also in, in practice, it can be configured to feed directly to your plan maintenance system. If, if you have that need that, that uh, most of the planned maintenance systems are database programs and, and the API is, is a database and then, then you just agree with our API and, 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 and your ICT people that how, how to take it in. And, and then again, it's, it's a bit of an automation that uh, we don't send a long list of data to already overworked DPAs and their deputies and, 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 and then you try to work out the IMO numbers and, and who hasn't done what. But you can you can get it automatically right away that whoever sends a safety observation or safety tip, uh, it, it will uh, be ready in, in your system without any, 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 any manual labor. And uh, this might be a little bit difficult to, to explain, especially in a webinar, but it is, is a way to highlight that it's 100% it's, uh, transparent and, and again, it's, it's, it's designed for you and, and also for the company. We have also customers that operate very small vessels without a planned maintenance system or very fancy automation systems and then, then the APIs is more, even more handy. And uh, I suppose it's also Part of the implementation that, that then every company has a little bit different different setup and who how how we how we solve this in in practice. Do you have any any questions or or uh, perspectives on on the API part? Yeah, I, I see that my my mic is still on, but yeah. Uh... Of course, I mean it, it's there's no use to have a system if, if we don't get the system, uh, information to to the office and be able to evaluate and 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 focus on on the areas that we get uh, so to say reports on. 
So yeah, re really interesting, of course, uh, how to get it implemented in the in the plant maintenance systems is it can sometimes be a bit uh, challenging, but uh, I, I think this this would be a great implementation to to integrate those two systems. Yeah, in, in in practical terms, I, I checked with our our head of IT, and it's it, it's a, it's a file format definition that uh, whatever your PMS is reading, if it's Excel or CSV or whatever file format, so so whatever our API is, it's just coded that okay, Ecker wants to have it in in this form and and VG or Mariaura in this way and and destination Gotland in another way, and and then you just put it there and, and it, it should the, the ones and zeros should take care of themselves and, and we just get the report. Good, uh, I, I suppose the API itself uh, uh, might not be so much more fun to discuss about and, and uh, Is there anything else uh, you would like to highlight on on, on the app, uh, the different features, or uh, uh, or some some ideas on 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 the implementation? That uh, how how does the next step look for you, and and how can we support that? Uh, if Daniel can start, I just uh, like to, like to, like the big uh, presentation or something like that to, to really come out to the whole. Uh, company just both the, uh, the top management but but also to uh, how to present it uh, in a good way to everyone on board to get that uh, good start for everyone to start using it i think that is uh, i think that is crucial to have a good uh, presentation on why we use it and how we can use it really a good presentation of that i think that's a key issue for having it launched in a brighter way yeah, we we have actually uh, an implementation package, and and we will we will send it to you, and and uh, and we are very grateful for your feedback. And and do you think that would work? That we, it's kind of a poster, and 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 there's also a link that you can uh, by using the app, you can you can actually implement it that way as well. But it it tells you more uh, why, what, and how. In, in very very simple way that and and i suppose um for the top management of course we can make a little bit more fancy fancy one to 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 answer any 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 questions that might come up yeah i think that's important whether this uh how you retrieve data because you know some shipping call companies and especially ours is a little bit old fashioned and then that's we need to know where the data is going etc because that will be one of the first questions asked how what do you use this data for etc mm. yeah and, and, and by by all means i mean it, it it's a fair question and, and you should know where 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 do you where, where is your operational data and uh, we 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 can give you and, and your management a clear answer to that on that question. I suppose this uh, information will also be available in, in your homepage, maybe in Swedish and Finnish as well. The output is in English, but. Yeah, the material so far is in English and, and by request of a customer, we, we try to please our customers and, 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 and then translate it. Uh, and yes, uh, we we will have a, a international press webinar on Monday on the same thing that, uh, and and after the press webinar, then then we put it on on the homepage, and and we will also do a little bit a little bit of a LinkedIn campaigning, and, and and we want to tell the world that what what we have together with our customers. But I, I think, uh, I mean, uh, the the implementation is that you you can you can you can build and create lots of great things. But if nobody's using it, then 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 you you sort of waste your effort and and time and uh, try to put uh, ourselves a little bit in out of the comfort zone again. That uh, 
what risks do you see that uh, let's say that uh, okay the the captains and and maybe the the mates and the officers maybe they buy in into it but uh, how how do we get uh, the the big buy in that uh, everybody thinks that this is relevant and this is fun and and this is good or maybe you don't see a risk there i don't know yeah, absolutely, we see a risk. Uh, we have to get uh, everyone along, not just the top management on board. We have to get uh, all the ratings, etc. Otherwise, there's no use of the app. If we just get the feedback from the shipboard management, then I see no use of it. It has to be all. And do, do you have an idea that uh, what, what would be the silver bullet again to to convince or or to to create uh, the the urge or need to even even considering all the ranks that you have on board. I think if you could uh, get maybe one of these more old-fashioned persons to actually use that and talk about it, I don't know how to really do it in a good way. But if you can transform one of those females or males into using that i think we have come a long way so it, uh, it's basically a change agent that uh, then I, I suppose we need to know that what, what is the, the level of points or or if, if it's a kind of a competitive person that uh, yeah it's, it's a, a bit of a psychology i suppose mm. And I, I, I think I mean, this is uh, another, let's say, uh, component in, in working with safety in, in a quite broad view. And uh, uh, I think also it's important to, to engage and motivate the, the new personnel and the new people who are coming into the industry. Uh, so I think this could be also used in, in uh, education at the at the schools, at the maritime academies, and so on. So just to whatever we can use to, to motivate and raise the interest and safety awareness for, for all the new people who are coming into this business is, is only good for, for the whole industry. Yeah, yeah, and um, cadets and, and, and the cadets go back to school that okay, and I was on this company's vessel and they had this nice app and, and they can do this uh, reporting very easy easy and simple way i know if there could be like a, a, a guideline for the english to, towards because we have a working language swedish and we have a lot of our personnel that barely speak a single word in english or understand the english so that could be a big challenge for our side to get them to you start using that and they were, we have mainly at our ratings, they don't speak any English at all or understand. So that is, uh, that's a mountain for us to climb for sure. Yeah, and uh, would that be uh, like in, in your case that if, if you have all the, you know, the, the Aladdin's uh, three uh, famous wishes that, uh, that the app would also speak Swedish or, or would you like to transform your cruise to everybody be very uh, fluent in English. Okay. <laughs> if you ask me, I will have everyone to be fluent in English, but uh, okay. if you uh, talk to the personnel on board, I would say the opposite, uh, Alandia Sap in Swedish. Okay. Okay. Then uh, I'll, we'll just uh, make a call to Aladdin and see, see which happens first. And how does it look for you, Thomas? Uh, Yeah, of course, as as uh, everybody here is saying, I mean, it's it's uh, it's really important that we get everybody involved in this, and uh, yeah, as and also as as I think as Daniel and, and Sophia said, I mean, this 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 gaming function, you you get the points and and you start competing with each other. Uh, it seems more and more important every day. I I mean, if you if you go out running today. If you don't start your 
your smartwatch that you get this uh, running logged, it's not used to do it. So everything has to be logged and you have to get points and, and, and things for everything. And, and I know there is uh, a fair bit of system for, for seafarers regarding sports and, and there is sports and, and points and, and people get prices for this. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would I would try to to maybe angle it in a, in a similar way that we we promote them and 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 for for the best points for for the ships and and persons yeah we'll 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 give them a a good price and and yeah it it's a bit of a uh, what's just an external motivating factor but yeah I, I think that that could do do the trick okay very good do you have a Sophia take on this. I thought that was a really good uh, idea. Uh, like you said, we have uh, like the the sports for the uh, for the crew on board, and they can win. Uh, but if we we could make this as well to a to a challenge and uh, to have a prize, and then I think yeah, it's a good way to to introduce it and uh, get people to use it. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, and and you, it it it's also a way to run run like a campaigns that if you want to do, uh, like uh, sometimes uh, it might be a challenge to what to talk about in the safety committee meeting, and 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 maybe maybe the app could also help there that that you have a topic on a safety challenge or or something that whatever team you have, or then then you start the combined points of a vessel compared to another vessel in the fleet and and, and whoever wins gets uh, this uh, very nice prize and and uh, be, becomes famous and, and what have you <clears throat> yeah great and uh, to to make it really uh, user and uh, owner friendly it's free of charge to to allow these customers and and uh, this is also another other way of uh, uh, keeping the threshold very low that this it's 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 not a very expensive in infrastructure that you need to buy into make a system integrations that it's if if you allow this customer go for it and uh, we'll we'll support with the the uh, wider system in integration if you want to integrate it to a PMS or or to, to different possibilities to use into your organization. Uh, do you have any any final comments at, at this stage? Anyone? Okay, I take take it uh, as a as a no, and uh, I really would like to thank you, uh, Destination Gotland, Mary Aura, and Ekera. Uh, you have been instrumental in in developing the app. Uh, you have been very patient with us, uh, given your time and 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 doing the testing, and uh, showing up in podcasts or and and, and webinars, and, and and we are really grateful for your help and and also to. To, to make it the tool that we all want it to be. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. It's been interesting. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. Thank you very much, everybody. I think we have come to a conclusion today that this is a tool in, in direction towards a safer place to work on board. I would also like to thank uh, Marty as a moderator and also thank you, our great panelists. And of course, thank you all our attendees. Game on, everybody. 680. <laughs> yeah, I'm at that level. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.